if I buy Mortal Kombat on the Xbox, I'm going to have, like, no exaggeration, probably 70% less players to play with than if I get it on PlayStation. All right? And that's a problem. There may be days when we want to play it and I sit there and I can't find anyone or we play the same two people a hundred times because that's the only people playing the game. That's not good. You might say, all right, well then what what are you going to do? Well, here's the thing. I could get it on PlayStation 5, which I'm okay with, but that joystick ain't going to cut it. It's not. That joystick is outdated. I know because I was using that joystick for old Street Fighter and stuff. It's, It's worn out now. Okay, it's a joystick I've been using for eight to nine years. So, I would need to invest in a new joystick that works on PlayStation. I could get this joystick equivalent for PS5, and then I would have to buy more Sanwa buttons and install it on there. Now, the thing is, this joystick is not a Sanwa joystick. This is a different brand. So, it's not as good as the Sanwa part. I could buy the joystick, but now you're talking 20 to $30 for the buttons, 20 to $30 for the joystick. So, now you're adding $50, $60 onto the cost of the joystick. <clears throat> This stick for PS5 costs $200 plus ta- sh- shipping and tax. Okay? So that's a $200 investment plus all the parts investments, which is another $50, $60. All in all, the tax and everything would probably end up being around $300. And you're free to look it up if you want. Okay? There's another joystick option. This joystick is apparently, from what I'm to understand, being considered... The absolute top of the line. It is called the Kanba QANBA Q7 Obsidian 2. All right. This joystick works with PlayStation as well as PC. So if down the line I wanted to try to play fighting games on PC, this would also work with that. All right. And this one supposedly has, all right. All the parts you would want. Like, it has all of the high-end Sanwa parts by default. However, the price tag on this joystick is $320. So either $200 to get this for PlayStation, but then I have to upgrade the parts manually. So after tax and shipping and everything, it's going to be just under $300. Or... Buy the one that already has everything pre-installed and the build, like the joystick's even better than that one. But it's $320 plus tax and everything. So that's huge investment, all right? So yeah, um, it would be pretty expensive, okay? It would, no matter what, my options here are expensive options to play any fighting game on PS5. Now, here's the deal. And I know this sounds crazy. I was considering rebuying Street Fighter VI on PS5. So, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Here's the thing. I think it would be fun. It would be a challenge. And to play Mortal Kombat, Tekken, and other fighting games in the future on PS5 with the best possible, like, controls. I mean, that's going to be huge. It will. But it's a money investment, right? The minimum spend is 200 plus tax. But then I would have to buy more parts to upgrade that joystick. Or I could splurge a little bit more to get the higher-end Kanba... Uh, what's it called again? That one's 320 bucks, but it has everything I want, and I wouldn't have to upgrade it at all. It has all the good parts. And it, also, the build of that stick is supposedly, like, really high-end. Everyone's saying it's a really good, like, the Cadillac of home joysticks, right? Like, everyone wants that one. So, you know, that's... that. Why am I saying this to you guys because I can't just drop that kind of money without consulting you without your buy-in that you'd be interested like if everyone says well I don't care well then then why am I going to spend the money fuck it if nobody cares then fuck it I don't give a shit right but if you guys care you want to see me actually actually actively try to do good in fighting games again like I've done in Street Fighter 6 you're interested in seeing me perform better have the better controls maybe you'd like to even see me take a second stab at Street Fighter 6 now on PS5 right you know it's a possibility but it's something to talk about and consider, but it's a lot of money. So, yeah, you know, obviously, I'm throwing it out there. If someone's interested, let me know. If anyone wants to help support it, let me know, all right? And I'll think about it. Like, right now, I have two weeks before the beta of Mortal Kombat 1 comes out. So, any point here, you know, these sticks are available, by the way. You can order them right now. They're expensive. That's the thing, so they're in stock. 
So I could order them and get them within a couple of days. But, you know, I, I don't have three, $400 to be dropping on this shit out of my pocket. So if anyone's interested in seeing that, let me know. You contact me behind the scenes. You can publicly say something. And, hey, any contributions greatly appreciated towards it. If that's the deal, if you're interested. And if you're not interested, then, then it's not a big deal. I'll just continue to play how I've been playing here uh, on Xbox. With this joystick. Because this joystick's fine. Alright? But it just means that when I play fighting games, we're going to have a way decreased player base. Like, I know MK1, probably if I get that beta, there won't be that many people. And then when the final game comes out, I almost guarantee you within a few weeks, there's not going to be enough competition to really have that be a long-running game. Xbox just isn't the console for that. Okay? So let me know what you think. I want feedback. I want to know what you guys want. I want you guys to be a part of the decision as well. I don't want it to be just about me. Okay? It wasn't a homemade sauce. It was just a bottle sauce that we bought from the store. And it was okay. Like, the store had, like, ten different kinds of teriyaki sauce. So we might try some various different ones till we find one that we love. This one was just okay. I don't even know what it was. The reason I was a few minutes late tonight is because... Are you ready? I'm ready to make the announcement. I bit the bullet. And, uh... I am essentially going to be converting over playing fighting games on PS5. I made the decision during the break. All right? So what I did is I got PlayStation Plus. I got Street Fighter VI on PS5. I installed it, and I got it all set up and synced with my Capcom ID and everything so that when we play Street Fighter again this coming, uh, what would it be, Monday night for Community Night, We'll, uh, we'll play it over there. It won't matter. It won't affect anyone. It's going to look exactly the same to everyone out there because it's the same game and everything. It's just that it's a different platform. Um, but it, the game looks the same, seems to run the same. I did play a practice match on my old Hori Real Dark Arcade Pro 4 joystick. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> it works. Don't get me wrong. But you can tell it definitely doesn't feel as good as this joystick with the new Sanwa buttons I just installed. Um, and so, I did it, I, uh, I ordered a joystick, I ordered a PS5 joystick, so it's coming sometime on Tuesday, no guarantee of delivery yet, but it's coming, uh, for this week. No, I'm losing my ranks. You do not get carryover ranks when you carry over from platform to platform in Street Fighter VI. I know that's stupid, but you don't, so I gotta start over. It's fine, it's not a big deal. Like, for example, take a look at my Honda. My Honda started in Diamond, and within one day, I got him to three-star Diamond. <laughs> so, it's not like... It's really not like a lot of lost... I don't feel like it's a lot of lost progress at all. Like, I get the feeling the first time I play with some of these characters in Ranked, I will likely get them to Diamond anyway. You know? So, I'm not really too worried about that. <clears throat> no, I got the cheapest PS Plus. I don't need any of the bells and whistles or anything like that at all. Uh, I don't want any of the free games or nothing, you know. If I want to upgrade later, because there is a good free game, I'll, you know, I'll think about it. But there's nothing on there I want. I just got the base level PS Plus. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, so yeah, starting Monday night, I'll start playing Street Fighter VI on PlayStation. And I'm going to be using the old joystick for now. And then I'll convert over to the new one when it arrives sometime on Tuesday. I don't know if it'll be in time for the stream or not. Um, and go from there. But this is good, because now... I can get... Oh, I see Jade. You're watching SummerSlam. All right. I'll see you when I see you. If you're in a watch watch a SummerSlam, it's all good. Um, when I'm going to pre-order MK1 soon. And that means I'll have the beta. And I'll be able to play the beta from the 18th to the 21st on PS5 with the bigger player base on a brand new joystick. So, it works out. It's going to work out, I think. Even though it's a lot of money investment. What I would hope is you guys like the fighting game stuff. If you could please support my streams the next few weeks because I just dropped a lot of money. I just bought a joystick. I just bought a game. I just bought the freaking PS Plus for the year. I bought everything all at once. So that's a lot of money I just dropped. So it would be nice if you're enjoying that and, uh, you know, if you could support it. I'd really appreciate it. Okay? It is, Monkey Spank says, I thought it was cross-platform. What? You thought what was cross-platform? Exactly. <laughs> Street Fighter Six, Mortal Kombat 1, what are you speaking of? Street Fighter? Street Fighter is cross-platform. 
but your progress doesn't carry over. If you play on Xbox, you can play people who are also on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. They all play each other, but your rankings don't carry over. I know. That sounds pretty stupid, doesn't it? But that's just how it works, sadly. They don't carry over. So because of that, uh, <clears throat> I lose my rankings when I play on PlayStation. Yeah, I'm starting over with those rankings. No, I didn't buy Mortal Kombat 1 yet. I just, I seriously, I just spent like over like 400, almost $500. It was the joystick and the other two plus all the tax and everything. I was like, dude, I, you know, I'll buy Mortal Kombat soon, but not yet. Uh, that's crazy. You know, I'm mean, like, dude, I'll buy it in a week or two if I can afford it. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll afford it by then. It, you know, but. No, I've not done Battle Hub once in Street Fighter 6. Haven't even bothered with it. Yeah, Jade, now I'll have it on both. I'll, I'll be able to. I'll be able to jump across, but there's no real point. Like, once you get settled into one platform for Street Fighter 6, since it's fully cross-platform, it doesn't really matter. Like, why would I play it back on Xbox if I'm playing on PlayStation 5 on a brand new joystick with all new components? I'll probably just stick there. You know, I'll probably stick on PS5. What happened to the thugs that were on the floor?